night viewers, this is James Calm, the guy on the bike. And it's a beautiful, sunny Sunday afternoon here. And uh, we're up here at the Armory Show. We're gonna try to run in. We got about two hours before it closes. So we're gonna try to get in, maybe get some highlights. Stay tuned. Okay, well, with the help of uh, these people, I was able to schmooze my way in and uh, got my press pass, so uh, we got a free ticket here. Well, normally I start out in the contemporary section, but uh, seeing as how the modern section was here by the press office, we're going to start here. This is Marlboro's booth. And uh, we've got a nice RB Katai. It's called Los Angeles Bathroom. These are some figures by Ab Abakanowitz. And uh, I thought this piece was fun. By Manolo Valdez, and uh, it's got some burlap in there, and it looks like uh, blue tempera. Oh, they're delivering the champagne. Well, we'll sweep across De Gallery from Frankfurt. I got some Picasso. Lithographs. That was a real nice Carl Apple. Untitled 1958. Oh, it's like they've got a little, whole little niche here for the uh, Cobra people. This is one of my favorite uh, Cobra artists, Per Alchinsky. 1967 acrylic on paper mounted on canvas. Oh, that's a nice little Lachinsky. I think that uh, Keith Haring was much influenced by Alchinsky's kind of loose brushwork. It's Cornelia. Lucibert. Angster Jorn. Hollis Taggart. This is a Frank Stella double maze. 1966. Well, because I'm late, I don't have time to really get in and uh, cover everything totally, so we're just going to hit some of the highlights. Uh, we've got a whole uh, little section of uh, Tom Wesselman here. John Wesley. John Chamberlain, 2003. It's Gallery del Art Magori from Bologna. And they've got a whole little room of uh, Sandro Q pieces. That's interesting. It's got a huge uh, ceramic frame on this. Um, I'm actually rereading The Trance Avant Garde by Achille Bonito Olive talking about uh, the whole Trance Avant Garde thing. This is titled Catching the Stars 2011. And uh, Sandro was one of the main Italian 
proponents of what was called the Trans Avant-Garde. It's one of the three C's. It's titled Lovely Ocean 2011. And uh, I always kind of like Sandro's uh, touch. I think this is polychrome Morica mixed media on paper. And uh, yeah, the frames are interesting. Well, we'll take a run into Gallery Thomas Martin, Modern from Munich. Looks like a big Damien Hirst. This is a Peter Haley painting. Amy Cobell. This is a Karen Davy at Wetterling Gallery from Stockholm. Uh, she was a hot painter here in New York. Uh, a few years ago. Oh, this is nice. They've got a uh, seating area here, and it looks like the chairs are uh, knockoffs on uh, Brancusi. It's nice. This is Gallery Michael Schultz, Berlin, Seoul, Beijing. Uh, well, they've got an abstract Gerhard Richter and a giant George Basilet's painting. Oh, this mother must be about 12 feet tall. Someone said this is 1.1 million. Let me check my wallet. Well, here are some Don Judd boxes at the Craig F. Star Gallery. The warehouse where you have like. These look like they're about uh, two feet by four feet by two feet. We'll swoop down across some paintings by Simon Link here at the Muriel Mosler Limited. Interesting technical things he's got going on here. Extraordinary detail. Here's some large pieces by Simon. Legan Gutman and Kasu, October 1986. I guess Simon is basing these on uh, ads in art form. Great uh, technical pieces here. Okay, so this is by Tom Duncan. And what's the title of the piece? Something about Coney Island, right? Dedicated to Coney Island. So this piece is probably, uh, I don't know what, 10 feet wide, 8 feet deep, and uh, 7 feet tall. And you can control it from these... Uh, Switches down here in front. <laughs> oh, the 
the Wonder Wheel. Well, so much for the modern section of the fair. Let's see if we can run over and get some pics of the contemporary section. Well, now we ran over to the contemporary section and well, we've really got about 45 minutes or so left and uh, so this is an impossible job. We're just gonna run through. Well, we've got some gooby paintings here. The Michael Cohen Gallery from Los Angeles and these are by Dennis Hollingsworth. Between uh, Dennis and maybe Allison Shulnick, they seem to have got uh, kind of a school of uh, gooby painters out in LA. This is oil on canvas. Over stretcher bars. Looks like we get a performance piece going here at the Hannah Berry Gallery. James Caper. Burn Knobber. So I guess these uh, tools all actually work and uh, they're using them to carve into these blocks. Oh, that looks nasty. They're all pneumatic. I guess you hook them up to an air compressor. Gallery Force Blum Helsinki. Stephen Balkenhole. Wood piece. Good old Ron Gorchov. Oh, Donald Sultan. Cardi Black Box, Milan. Oh, look, they've got some big. Ashley Bickerton pieces. It's <laughs> an impressive piece. Well, geez, we've got a whole, uh, almost a whole installation of the work of David Kramer here at Gallery Laurent Godin from Paris. And uh, there's a sculpture. It's kind of like the uh, giant Dave Kramer by his Paul Bunyan. like it when a little goes a long way. Oh God, look. There's the artist David Kramer himself. Show looks good, David. Hey, Congratulations. Thanks. When are you going to get to work? <laughs> came, for the came for the bitter end here. <laughs> <laughs> you can title your next painting that, man. <laughs> And congratulations, man. It looks good. Good, good. Laura, it's good to see you. I was talking to Andrew, and he said I had to come to the fair and see their Steve Gaienko's paintings from the 80s. And I asked if these were penguins. He said, no, it's the Jesus and Hitler paintings. So, you know, Hitler and Jesus, that's always a popular combination. Jazzy. So 
going to take, take a walk through the Rod Bianco Gallery from Oslo. And uh, this kind of caught my eye. This is by Bjarna Margard and Sverna Bjertnes. And uh, it's kind of fun. It's like a uh, crazy rumpus room with the uh, purple shag carpet. And unused exercise equipment. Right, so, uh, a lot of these paintings have uh, vintage clothing attached to them here. And they can smell the oil paint. This is a pretty fun installation here. Well, I just heard one of the t attendants announce that they are closing and so they are herding the audience toward the exits. This is James Calm reporting on the 2013 Armory Show. Thank you, Kate. Thank you, that was great.